Well, it's like the same thing as what I said when we moved to Motherwell. If you don't know why we're here, I suggest you go and watch the last video. Yes, hello there. Welcome back to the channel for Club 3, Episode 1 of Hall of Famer FM23 with Sheffield Wednesday. Guys, I got the job I wanted. I wanted this job to begin with. I've left Motherwell to join them. Now, we leave Motherwell in a really good position. The signings coming in were really good. The team was going well. We were in the last 16 of the Europa Conference League, and we were doing decent in the league as well. Some of you may think that I've took a step back here, and I probably agree with you, but the potential we have with Sheffield Wednesday, I think, is worth it. Absolutely. So, the job came up, we applied for it, and um, we got offered the job, baby. We got offered the job. Um, financial situation is insecure. The owner is looking to sell the club. We've got a fairly decent transfer budget. Wage budget is pretty awful, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, I mean, this is the tactic I'd probably go with anyway, to be perfectly honest. Um, we're looking, I mean, looking to sell the club. We've altered the five-year plan, yada, yada, yada. They want me to repair the financial damage. That's probably not going to happen, is it? So, um, there we go. Uh, schedule a press conference. Absolutely, baby. And here we are. Oh, youth intake preview. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, so, we got that through. That's cool, I guess. Tactics. I mean, I think I'm just going to select this to begin with. And I go with one of my the ones. Not, I mean, is this the one? No. Though I do remember trying that. That's the one that I had with my Leicester team. This one? Oh, I had the four three. I had a four three three one going, didn't I? Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. That's the one. There we go. So if I was to say quick pick this, how would it look? Not too bad. The only exception would be Jay Glover. Daily Bashiru. We've had um, previous with him on previous FMs. Right. What is the wage budget looking like? Holy smokes! That is bad. That is very bad. So like 30 grand a week over the wage budget and I, oh god. So this guy is going to be leaving at the end of the season, that is for sure, because he's on 8 grand a week. Liam Palmer, uh, Josh Windass, this guy's wanted as well. Holy moly, right, um, we, need to, we need to offer, I mean we're in the January transfer window so this is actually really good. Um, I wonder if we could I mean, Windass, could we offer him out as well, maybe? Let's just offer him out. Um, his wage budget is going to be off, but then again, it's only two and a half grand a week, isn't it? We need to look at loans, I think. But then again, I'm sure clubs are going to see my financial situation and think, yeah, he's not going to be able to afford, he's not going to be able to afford anything, so we'll ask him for stuff. But there we go. Right, you, oh, we could... Huh? Oh, right, I'm looking at potential there. Um, can we have a look at current ability? <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, Kane Wilson looks pretty good. Looks really good. Loan. Yeah, they they want me to contribute to it. I mean, what if I was to transfer all this transfer but that would put me up to sixty one. See that is still nothing really. But the thing is, what's the point of having this money if I'm not gonna be able to spend it anyway? Um how about this guy? Please be nice. That 50%, 975. Oh, please be nice to Parker. No, you're being Belens, aren't you? You're not going to let me have any loan players. Okay, I regret it now. I'm going to back to Mother. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, we'll see what that brings. I've literally just done that. Thank you. Right, players currently unhappy. Um... Okay, so Derby, that's fine. You know what? He can go. That will get a 
Uh, who, right, Liam Palmer's current captain, Sam Long. That's fine. We've got our first game, which we will play. We'll probably just play the one game this video. All right, remind me in the month on these. And we'll hit continue again. Right, so he could... Right, Fosu could be leaving. So that would mean... Windass takes that. I mean, I think he's all right there. He is. That's not bad at all. I would like a striker. Is Vidra not... I mean, oh, Vidra's out on the left. That's probably why. Right. What else? Who else is there? I mean, we've got Kuwata's. Wages. Fosu's hopefully going to be leaving. You're here on loan. Can we... Oh, we can terminate this loan. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we are paying his full wages. So, and he's injured as well, isn't he? Let's terminate the loan. So that'll get a bit more wage budget off. That'll get more wages off the bill. So this might mean we can offer more money towards more loans, maybe. So let's have another. Let's have another look at Kane Wilson. Okay, so I can't offer any more than that. That's fine, I guess. But again, what if I was able... See, it doesn't really give me a lot, does it? But we get the Fosu money in. We'll see. Hopefully we get a takeover as well. If we get a takeover, then things could really be good. Never got it at Leicester. Be nice if we got one, please. Jesus Christ, that wage budget's terrible, isn't it? Right, guys, I'm going to have a little fiddle around with this. And um, if I haven't really got anything else to bring you, um, we'll get this off again. Okay, so the owner of the board have just um, injected a cash injection of 3.3 million. Now, for some reason, some of that has gone into my transfer budget as well. So, can we now? Oh, we can. We can actually sort this mess out, in a way. Right, that is absolutely wonderful. Right, so now, I mean, I'm probably still going to sell this chap anyway. Because he is a high owner and we need to get players in for lower amount of money. This guy is also under offer. I think that was the, yeah. I mean, that's fine. That is absolutely fine because he's a high, uh, high ish owner as well, I think. I mean, one and a half grand is not actually that high, is it? Right then, so we're going to hit continue. So he's gone, that's fine. Finances, and to 80. So if we say, if we say this, that sorts the wage budget situation out. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. This means now we can get some loan signings in, which I'm looking forward to doing. Right, can we get Kane Wilson now, please? Can we get him now? Well, we can, but we still need to pay more more money for him. Um, right, let's look at, I mean, potential-wise, he's still the best player, really. Um, let's look at current ability again. Uh, yeah, I mean... You're you're in the same league as us, aren't you? Or like maybe even the league below. I'm really not sure. <laughs> right, can we have a look at players that are actually listed for loan? Ah, oh, right. We don't have any ones there. Okay, it's because of our um, scouting budget as well, and the range is only League One, and we don't have enough money to scout the world, of course. So there is that. So if we ha if we go up to the Premier League, we'll go to say Liverpool and under twenty ones. This guy's up for a loan. No idea. What though? Want ten percent? I don't really want to give you a specific role, but he could be good. He could actually be good. So we're going to give him a chance. Can I sign more than one? What about if I try and loan him? Again. That's fine. Um, what about as a backup? 
Oh, actually, allow, allow me to do that. Now, I'm not going to finalise these loans unless they're, they're actually good. I've got the dog barking, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so no new sign-ins, no departures um, as we approach the Salford game. Uh, tactical meeting. Oh, my God, they want us to go to a cautious mentality. I'm not doing that. Um, but I will go to positive instead. This looks all right to me, apart from Jay Glover. What about Bobby Dunn? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is worse than I thought. Oh god, this could be bad. Barely got any... Oh my god, the goalkeeper as well. Is he any better? Oh my god, he's no better. <gasps> we need a goalkeeper, we need some central midfielders. Oh no, this is horrible. Oh, what about Josh? Josh Windass can play. Oh my god, not very well. Um, you there maybe? That's a little bit better, we'll have to go with this. Um, okay, so for a first Sheffield Wednesday game here... Away against Salford, we are going with Charles and goal, a back four of Palmer, Potts, Humphreys and Long, Ball, Windass and Bashiru in midfield, Fosu and Duke McKenna on the wings, and Matty Vidra up front. Let's see what we can do here. That cash injection could mean that we actually uh, go towards the playoffs, because it's allowed me to fix the wage budget. Oh, I should not have said that. Oh, God, that was so bad. So bad. Right, let's do this, boys. Sheffield Wednesday era begins here. Uh, only commentary. We want key highlights, don't we? Of course we do. Okay, so we start already with Salford. Can we do something with this? Uh, Bishiru just... <coughs> and I backed off that. Right, Duke McKenna. Long. <coughs> Humphreys. Duke McKenna. McKenna plays a decent ball there to Josh Windass. He's bringing the ball forward. Fosu now. Lovely ball to Matty Vidra. Can Matty Vidra do? Oh, it's a swinging effort. But, um, wasn't the best. But, an effort more the same. Just reminded me, I still haven't sorted that corner tactic out. Duke McKenna whips it in. It is cleared by Ford. I remember Ford. Fosu out to, uh, Duke McKenna. Duke McKenna, oh. Now, I think if we've got any real aspirations of qualifying for the playoffs, we need to win this game. This is a game we sh hopefully should win. They want, I think they said top half, so 12th upwards. I think that's definitely achievable. Uh, with the time we've got to strengthen in this window, and the wage budget, and my knowledge, I think we might be okay. If we can sneak into the playoffs, maybe 6th, That'd be good. I'd be more than happy with that. We have been decent in this game. We have been a lot better than Sheffield uh, than um, Salford have. Um, we have only mustered the one shot on target, though. Could we sneak the lead here before half-time? Vidra's there unmarked. Vidra cuts it into Fosu. Fosu plays it back to Palmer. And Palmer's lost the ball. He's managed to get it back to Fosu. And he scores! Tarek Fosu has put us 1-0 up. Get in. And Matty Langstaff is still scoring for Scunthorpe. That's good to see. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. And just before half time, we've gone we've gone over the other time, so why why is this even happening? And Charles oh did oh my lord. Phew, that was um bit little bit of nip and tuck before half time. Uh, we do go in, one nil up, which I am very pleased with. Get make sure you give the fans the money's worth. Yes, do that boys, do that. Right, Salford are in here again. Uh, Humphreys is it to long. Long, oh, it's a horrible pass there. And Palmer gives it to, I mean, to be fair, I think he might have been offside anyway. Right, Humphreys with the clearance, only as far as Riddell. Puts it across, and Salford have equalised right into the second half. That is not good. Frankie, stop crying. I need uh, dogs this morning, annoying me. Uh, not the best start to the second half. Um, Salford finished that first half fairly well as well. So, um, yeah, not good. We're down to 17th. And now we're gone. We have a highlight in the Salford third here. Palmer to Fosu. Fosu across to Bashiru, who's got space here. Puts it into Fosu, and he scores to make it 2-1. Beautiful play there by Dilly Bashiru and Fosu. Fosu's doubled the lead. I'm thinking we may have to cancel that offer from Derby now. Oh no, it might piss him off. Uh, we'll be fine. He'll be fine. And we'll be fine. Right, uh, substitution o'clock, I think. Um, let's have a look what we've got. 
uh, Malik Wilkes, who I think is the high earner here, isn't he? He's the guy on the most money. Um, the dog, please, dog, stop. Uh, what about if you go on the wing there? He put you there, and then we'll bring this guy, Kadamar Terry, on. Jay Glover, is he? Oh god, he's not good, is he? Yeah, he's not exactly. A... He's not exactly good. We may have to just go with those two changes because, yeah, it's the... yeah, we don't have many good players here, do we? Right, so we are leading two one. 66 minutes on the clock. Salford are in here again with Edwards, and it's a decent save there by the keeper. We desperately need a new keeper, and we need midfielders as well. I have gone in for some midfielders. Um, I didn't realise the goalkeeping situation was this, this poor. So, um, now I do. We can hopefully go out and get one. That'd be good. Right, so we are edging this game at the moment by two goals to one. This is a good start. Palmer, I uh, would have gone to Potts to be perfectly honest to begin with. Right, Potts lumps it upfield. Lovely ball to Karamatari. Again, that I could have said that wrong. Wilkes now. Earn your money, dude. Earn your money. And he has, because he scored to make it 3-1. Wonderful stuff. And he's even dancing. I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. Wonderful stuff. And we are going to win our first game in charge of Sheffield Wednesday. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do we deserve it? Only just, I would say. Probably 2-1 would have been fairer. Maybe 1-0. I don't know. But uh, you know what? We can make a change like that now. That is absolutely fine. Lovely result. I am really happy with that. We hit the dressing room. Well done, lads. That was a good win. And we'll hit continue. And uh, yeah, it's good. That's good. I will be showing you a few transfers in this. Dependent. Okay, so we've got the Burton game in four days. And you guys know I don't like to do two away games in an episode. So what I'll do, um, I'll go forward until the Burton game. But I won't play the Burton game. And we'll see if we can get some transfers over the line. Okay, don't kill me for this. Um, it's 3.2 million. We have only paid like 400 grand up front. We have the money in the tr in the transfer budget. It was fine. It's all fine. We are playing a little bit over installments, but this guy is worth it. Is a uh, fullback, uh, right back to be precise. Three and a half star current belly, but four and a half star potential. He's 22, comes in from Forest, and I think it's a good signing, to be perfectly honest. Uh, of course, we are going to register him, because why the hell wouldn't we? And he will go straight into our first team, and he replaces Sam Long, and we've already improved. You know, we could get more money from for him. Uh, and he's only on two grand a week as well. So for me, that uh, is a really good deal. Um, other than that, I've had to cancel one of the loans because he just didn't measure up. Um, and uh, yeah, so scouting update. Acknowledge. That's fine. Um, 80k. See, again, I mean, uh, again, not not too bad. Again, again, this, this is another player who's not actually that bad. But um, the wages on him, I guess, would be a little bit, wouldn't be great. Uh, this guy, again, not really interested in him. Too much money to pay for him. Again, potentially to be a good League 1 player. No. Again, why am I getting A-minuses that are decent League 2s? And leading League 1s, potential. That, that is not where we're at, guys, seriously. Again, and they're not a good player. Not a good player. And not a good player. Although then again, this guy is League One standard player. And he's only going to cost us a little bit. But is it Dulwich Hamlet, for Christ's sake? But I do need a midfielder. I will pay... 45... How was that? I'll pay 50. I'll pay 62. There you go, 62. Just a little bit over what they wanted anyway. Right, so we've got the Burton game coming up tomorrow. I'm not going to be doing it in this video. Uh, now, looking ahead for the next one. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, we've got no cup competitions left, so it's literally just league. So, I mean, I guess that's all right. So, we'll probably come back and do... Maybe Wimbledon and... Uh, AFC Wimbledon and Leighton Orient. Sounds good to me. Hopefully, sounds good to you. And uh, we'll probably do deadline day in there as well, because why the hell not? Unless it's here. I forget. But we'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you're excited for what we do with Shuffle Wednesday here, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you happen to be new. Do you think this was a good move, looking at it long term? I think it is, to be perfectly honest. I'm a little bit guided because, you know, we were actually doing quite well with Motherwell. But you know what? I think this is more than worth it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. Ciao.